ತೌ ಸಂತೋಷಯತ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲ ರೂಪ ಸನಾತನೌ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇ ತದ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾಧ್ಯಂ ಗ್ರಂಥನ ಲೇಖಂ ಕ್ರಾಂತವ್ಯುತ್ಕ್ರಾಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾಥ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃತ್ವಾಲಿಖತಿ ಜೀವಕ so we are discussing 153 anuchada so that we will continue today just i am trying to help you to recall back the beginning of this anuchada what is what is the main thing we are going to discuss in this anuchada about the so bhakti abhasa which is in the form of offenses even that kind of bhakti is going to so deliver actually it is leading that kind of bhakti is leading to attain the ultimate result astu tavat suddha bhakti abhasa abhasa varta aparadatvena drishyamano pi asau maha prabhavo drishyate ಯಥಾ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಧರ್ಮೇ ಭಗವನ್ ಮಂತ್ರೇಣ ಕೃತ ನಿಜರಕ್ಷ ವಿಪ್ರಂ ಪ್ರತಿ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಅನುಚ್ಛೇದ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಆಭಾಸ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ದ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ attaining the vaikuntha this can happen so that kind of uh, result can be produced by the bhakti abhasa or otherwise the result of the bhakti abhasa will lead to that kind of so perfection will lead it's not giving directly but it will lead examples we have seen for that bhakti abhasa what are the examples for the bhakti abhasa no for the bhakti abhasa examples are these uh, two drunkards one is that is a one example and another is uh, that bird bird is bird example uh dog carrying a bird this these two examples and also prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj doing the fasting on the chaturdashi narsingh chaturdashi festival these three are the example in the case of nama abhas uh, sorry bhakti abhasa and bhakti abhasa in the form of offenses for this so what is the example who are, who are what are the examples we have seen here also we have seen rakshasa came to kill brahmana who is carrying the raksha who is carrying or who is holding the raksha so that raksha is he is out of the he is made out of the so holy name so that brahmana yeah <clears throat> very hard <clears throat> so brahmana is carrying the raksha or holding the raksha raksha means i said it can be many ways so it can be a thread or it can be some kind of object or something so which is endowed with the holy name so by touching that raksha immediately this demon this asura became that means peaceful that means he got the detachment and that is that means here brahmana sorry here asura is trying to kill a brahmana who is protected by the holy name so that's why in this case we have to see this is offensive nama bhasa sorry otherwise bhaktya bhasa offensive bhaktya bhasa this is so that is also is effective and also that's a rat example which is trying to drink the oil in the lamp which was lit in the in the month of kartik so that and another thing is man associated with a a maid servant uh, who is observing janmashtami 
or these are the various examples in all these examples we have seen they are yes getting the so gradually production uh, perfection that's leading that sukriti is leading afara offensive bhakti abhasa is also leading to highest result so then after that what do you have seen hmm 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 even that means yeah that is okay uh, sakrud alpa pala alpa prayasatmikaya api one more glory we have seen even bhakti which is done at one time with little endeavor so that is also going to give so highest result a uh, bhakte drishyate bhagavad vashikartha that is also going to control the lord one time little endeavor bhakti is done with little endeavor that is also going to give control on the lord example is drishta pashye daharah sanskrita pratisam shrayet this is from the brahma purana statement that is a thing yatha cha vishnu dharme tulasi dala matrena jalasya chukalena cha vikrinete swam atmanam bhaktebhyo bhakta vatsala tadrish तदीदृशं महात्म्य वृंदम न प्रशंसा मात्र मजा मिलाधो प्रसिद्ध तत्वात एंड आल्सो वी हैव सीन वी जस्ट टर्निंग द टॉपिक वी टर्न द टॉपिक लिटिल बिट एक्चुअली व्हाट इज दैट सो इवन द भक्ति व्हिच इज डन वन टाइम विद लिटिल एंडीवर दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव कंट्रोल ऑन द लॉर्ड दैट वाज अनदर डिस्कशन वी स्टार्टेड सो दिस मच वाटर so how much water just chukalena that means is a handful of water or otherwise one one leaf of the tulsi is enough to purchase lord so tadrish mahat so then after saying all this so by see by hearing these kind of things people generally to think that what these are all this kind of glories that means bhakti abhasa is also giving the so is is leading to highest result highest perfection even not only bhakti abhasa but offensive bhakti abhasa also is leading to the the highest result by hearing all these so what you are getting you may think that the glories of bhakti are or exaggeration arthavada so then this is a offense so that yeah idrisham mahatmya vrindam nasham actually it's not a prasham so first of all Sri Jiva Goswami is wants to give the live example. One that means one real example, not reality. He want to say whatever these statements are saying that is not so exaggeration, but that is real. So for that he is giving the so real example. Who is that person? Mm. In whose life we have seen that Abhasa Bhakti also did the miracle. That is Azamal story. So that's why he gets said that. And also Darshita Ascha Nyaya Ha Bhagavan Nama Kamudo Kamudadyo Tathayva Namna Nam Nirthavada Kalpanaya Doshopi Shuyate Tadarthavada Hari Namni Iti Padme Namara Nama Paratha Ganani Tathayva So finally we are seeing that one should not think is exaggeration if they think that the glories of the holy name are exaggeration then it is dosha that is dosha that is said in the padma purana तथा नाम नर्धवाद कल्पनायां दोषो भी श्रूयते 
so thinking the glories of holy name as exaggeration is a offense that is counted in in the list of offenses in padma purana yes <coughs> ಅರ್ಥವಾದಂ ಹರೇರ್ನಾಮಿ ಸಂಭಾವಯತಿ ಯೋ ನರ ಸ ಪಾಠಿ ಸ ಪಾಪಿಷ್ಟೋ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ನಿರಯೇ ಪತತಿ ಸ್ಫುಟ ತಟ್ ಪಾಪಿಷ್ಟ ಅರ್ಥವಾದ ಹರೇರ್ನಾಮಿ ಹೂ ಯೋರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಬಾದ್ಮೆ ನಾಮಾಪರ ಸಾರಿ ದೆನ್ ಯ ನರ ಸಹ ಪಾಪಿಷ್ಟ ಪಾಪಿಷ್ಟ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ನಿರಯೇ ಪತಯ ಪತತಿ ಸ್ಫೋಟ ಇಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಹೆಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇತಿ ಕಾತ್ಯಾಯನ ಸಂಹಿತ ಇನ್ ಕಾತ್ಯಾಯನ ಸಂಹಿತ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಮನ್ನಾಮ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಫಲಂ ವಿವಿಧ ನಿಶಮ್ಯ ನ ಶ್ರದ್ಧ ನ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾತಿ ಮನ್ನಾಮ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಫಲಂ ವಿವಿಧ ನಿಶಮ್ಯ ನ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾತಿ ಮನುತೆಯದುತಾರ್ಥವಾದ ಯೋ ಮಾನುಷಸ್ತಮಿಹ ದುಃಖಚೆಯೇ ಕ್ಷಿಪಾಮಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಘೋರ ವಿವಿಧಾರ್ಥಿ ನಿಪೀಡಿತಾಂಗಂ ಇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಹಿತ ಬೋಧಾಯನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರೋಕ್ತ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎನ್ ನಾಮ ಕೀರ್ತನ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಹೂಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಬೋಧಾಯನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಬೋಧಾಯನ್ ಬೋಧಾಯನ್ ಋಷಿ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಹಿತ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನ್ ನಾಮ ಕೀರ್ತಿತ I translated a few lines but not complete completely did okay i will give it later so en nama kirtana phalam vividam you can see other translations the person who even after hearing the various results of chanting so my name has no faith and rather thinks the results are exaggeration i put him in the greatest miseries whose limbs are afflicted by greatest miseries i put him in the greatest miseries whose limbs are afflicted with various pains due to frightening samsara so what it is said here someone who is thinking the various results of the nama kirtan as that means have no faith first of all so nishamya first of all they are thinking that oh hey, these are not going to give a holy name chanting a holy name give this many results yeah, it cannot give they don't have first of all no shraddha and after that they are thinking that manute yad uta arthavadam hey, it's just exaggeration it's not reality so like that whoever is thinking saha manushaha so that person is is through into dukkha chaye that means in the various miseries dukkha chaye kshipami lord is saying i personally throw him into the into the into the difficulties and samsara ghora vividharthi nipeeditangam samsara ghora vividharthi nipeeditangam so his limbs his body his limbs are tortured or afflicted with the various various pains due to so samsara ghora that means frightening samsara <coughs> is hearing the glories of holy name but not having any shraddha and thinking on top of that arthavada then he will be sent to the so into the miseries put into the miseries iti brahma samhitayam bodhayanam prati sri parameshwara uktav
सब क्लोज हो गया इतना ंग uh if you consider chanting of the holy name as a results of the chanting of holy name as exaggeration that is directly that is directly yeah is 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 the offense and also so some processes some some bhajana processes which include which include the chanting of holy name your understanding so some worship some worship which includes the chanting of holy name different kinds of the worships maybe some 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 kind of ekadashi vrata is some kind of anushthana is some kind of worship or something some yajna or something for vishnu so, so these are all includes the chanting of holy name it is also including what is said that so chanting of holy name is include tat so tatah antar bhutanam अनुसंधानु तदनेशुतरामेव अर्थवादे सो इवन इन दिस प्रोसेस ऑलो सेट दट यू डू दिस यूल बी गेटिंग दिस रिजल्ट वन आर रिजल्ट टू एंड यू डू दिस प्रोसेस यूल बी गेटिंग दि रिजल्ट वन दिस इज वर्शिप which includes the chanting of holy name is going to give the result one this worship two it is given uh, it is includes the chanting of holy name is going to give the result two so if you think this process is giving this result oh this is exaggeration this is exaggeration if you say then in this class also you will be getting the dosha offense you are not directly offending the glories of holy name but you are uh, thinking the exaggeration of the process which includes holy name in that case also there is offense huh huh mike 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 uh, my question is that you are indicating only result 2 not 2 result 1 huh? okay. result <clears throat> are uh, both na no? <laughs> okay okay both okay process 1 our worship 1 associated with the result 2 result 1 and process 2 our worship 2 is associated with the result 2 in the scripture it is said if you do this process or this worship you will get this result if you do this worship will get the, this result okay so but you are thinking so getting this result so is exaggeration for this process then there is offense similarly so <laughs> similarly so thinking that result one is the is is coming from this process is exaggeration then also offense ah huh. so does this imply a person knows that uh, the holy name has to be chanted within the w1 and w2 the worship one and worship two 
means they would know that this process, say this yagya, in the end we will chant the names of Vishnu. But if they don't, if they do not know that they will be chanting the names of Vishnu, will they still get the dosha? And the yeah. second question, dosha and an apparat is the same, right? Yeah. In a sense. Dosha is afara, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And sixth afara, sixth or fifth. I think it's the eighth. Six, huh? The eighth. No, imagination. It's 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 the eighth. Giving some interpretation on this. Tada, oh, yeah. tava, daha. Sixth, that is. Six, okay. Sixth offense is happening. So you are asking when they don't know W2, that the worship two is is considering the is is consisting the mm -hmm. chanting of holy name. So in that case, also will they get or not? You are saying. Yeah. So, um, some of the processes they can be very elaborate. Saying so the yagi is very elaborate in only, in only the last part would include the chanting of the holy names. And um, a person, a worshiper, they might not even be aware that this part will be happening. So will they get the, the same offense? Mm. You should get. Because uh, that is the meaning, actually. Otherwise, ultimately, he, that means person demands. That means if we demands from the person that, so then only offense, if they know that this process is including of the holy name, and that holy name is is there, but still, so considering this process is not going to give any, this result is giving, this result is simply exaggeration. So then you are bringing that also to the normal, normal, normal thing. That means considering the glories of the holy name, chanting holy name is, is exaggeration. So that is only is becoming actually. You are going and digging, then this process is including the holy name. And still, so I, of course, it is the holy name is there. So I don't want to, uh, so I'm considering that this result too from this process or this worship too is simply an uh, exaggeration. Then it is becoming the, the basic one only. Then there is no need of saying this. Yeah. So like that. So Tadeo Yadhade Tan Mahatme Satyapi Yatra Samprati Tat Tat Bhajana Faladayo Nadrishete Kutrachi Sastrecha Puratana Namapi Anyata Sriyate Tatra Namartha Vada Kalpana Vaishnava Anadaradeho Duranta Aparada Yeva Pratibanta Karadam Vaktavyam. So now, one more important point is said here. Sometimes, of course, yes, tan nama mahatme, so yatharde satyapi. So, of course, yes, glories of the holy name are, are true. Yes, this is true. Glories of holy name are true. Fine. But glories of holy name are true, but in in some places, in some places, what we are seeing now. In some place now, Tattad Bhajana Falo Dehana Drushyate. Tattad Bhajana Falo Udeha Na Drushyate. Someone, X person is there, he is doing the so worship. So, worship of the Lord. This person is doing the worship of the Lord. But we are not seeing the 
this worshiper of lord is not giving result let example chanting one time holy name is going to destroy the all the sins and now so yes it is it is yeah it is uh, destroying all the sins and now that person is is completely free from the sins that we are seeing that we heard actually but that result is not manifesting now example is bhakti gives even the results of so karma gnana and yoga and now you chanted so bhakti gives the result of karma and gnana means now if you perform a yagya so it is going to give the yagya gives annad bhavanti bhuto bhutani parjanya anna sambhava parjanya parjanya bhavati annad bhavanti bhutani anna sambhava yagnad bhavanti parjanyo yagnad bhavati parjanyo so that means yagna gives the rains so that means if you do some sang in the kind of yagyas so rains will come like in the scriptures so many yagyas are there for the rains you should satisfy the indra by satisfying the yagya for the indra then you will be getting the rains so now we said that bhakti gives the results of other process also like bhakti gives the result of karma bhakti gives the result of gnana bhakti gives the result of yoga everything without doing those without depending on devas process even a tinch even a tinch it is not going to depend that means without performing the any yagya simply by doing the bhakti you will be getting the rains in this example now you need to perform big yagya big sacrifice to satisfy indra then you will be getting the rains but you are not going to do that and just you will be going and chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare rain should come and rain didn't come that is the point here it is said that means of course glories of holy name are true but presently we are worshiping or we are doing the some bhakti and but that bhakti is not manifesting the that result that bhakti this bhakti should manifest the what result now in this case rains sir that is expectation from the bhakti but it's not producing any rains i say it again as it is those <laughs> yeah 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 um pitamba chitani pro was right is the fifth offense offense huh is the fifth offense i just i just found the uh, the the shloka tadartavada yeah so artavada so shruti shastra nindanam is the fourth and then artavada is the fifth na fifth yes offense. fifth okay. and then yes. harinam nikalpanam is the sixth so yeah fifth is fifth but the interesting thing is that Arta... in english it is twist it is reverse <laughs> harinam nikalpanam is said in the fifth actually yeah so this is the sixth yeah in english it is said in the <laughs> Okay, but I mean, in this file, this is correct. So, yeah. so give some interpretations on the holy name of the Lord. So interesting the way the way you explain here that the bhakti will supposed to be producing rains, because the way we always explain this offense to give some mundane interpretations on the holy names of the Lord, say you know to say to glorify the holy name and uh, to say that the holy name will if you chant the holy name then you become rich and you get good wife and progeny and this and that. So this is kind of an offense. No, no, we have no, no. So, see, see, we, we, we should not go to the uh, what offense this. I am still here only. I am. I am not saying any offense. What is offense here happening? I didn't discuss at all. Uh -huh. Just know what I am saying. So, some of course, glories of holy name are true, 
So, but the point is, some person is there. Mm -hmm. So, he is worshipping the Lord. And, but that worship is not producing the result. Example I am giving, some person is doing the bhakti and he is expecting the rain. It should give actually, because bhakti should give the even rain also. Because we know the glories of the bhakti, out of the glories of the bhakti, we read that bhakti gives the results of other process also. So it is going to give the results of other process also, like karma, gnana, yajna. So that means here yajna means karma. Okay. So you do some yajna so to satisfy the indra and rains you will get. So now I am doing the bhakti instead of yajna and I want to rains. It should come or not according to the glories of the bhakti. It should come. No, no, no. leave it, Prabhu. Though what kind of it's bhakti, it's, it's no matter actually. So it's a simple thing is, if you perform the bhakti and you expect the material result, it should come or not? It should come. So now you do chanting and you, you want to become prime minister. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram, 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 Ram. Let me become prime minister. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Should become or not? Because it's because akama sarva kama or moksha kama that it is going to give every result immediately. Yeah. So yeah. So without writing the without writing the exam also you should pass actually. Your paper should be immediately going inside the file and you are also getting the answer. And you should come. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. I don't want to write exam. Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama. And results should come for me. Yes. Fully pass, hundred <laughs> percent. You should have <laughs> because bhakti can replace any sadhana. Writing exam and getting result is a one process, and that sadhana can be replaced by bhakti or not. Rangamai bro, what do you say? <laughs> so any sadhana can be replaced by the bhakti. That is the thing we read till now. So that's why I took the one example, doing the yajna and getting the rains. This is the general so karma sadhana. You're doing the yajna and getting this dharma or karma dharma, you can say. So now I'm doing bhakti and I am expecting rains. It should come. But there are no rains, but there are no rains. That means then, then people will say, hey, you said that bhakti's glory is if you do bhakti, definitely it will give result of any other sadhana, but I am not getting, it's an exaggeration only, he say. <laughs> he will be getting support, na, actually, he is getting. <laughs> it's, see, no, we are not at all getting rains. <laughs> so, it may, that means, uh, one may think like that because of that. And there is one more thing. In, in the sastras also, what is that? The next point is said that we heard in the Sastras, Kutrachit Sastra, that means in some scriptures. So, Puratana Namapi Anyathasuyate. That means he is doing bhakti. He is doing bhakti. Some Another, another point actually. This is point one and this is point two. Someone is doing the bhakti in the scriptures we are seeing. And they are desiring some result. But that is not attained and something differently it is attained. Something different than that is attained. This kind of cases also we are seeing in the scriptures also like this. So practical experience, scriptures both are showing that even though you are doing the bhakti, it is not giving the result. Results. So this is the Practical actually. And also scriptures are giving the examples. Then Purupakshi can say opponent. Yeah, experience also saying and Sahastra also we are quoting so many examples we are seeing. Where Bhakti is not producing the results what it should. Then what we say? Then after hearing this kind of sentence we should say that it is simply an exaggeration only. Purupakshi will stand that yes it is exaggeration. But it is not. So then then what is the solution? Then Siddhanti, what he will say? Then he say that uh, it is not exaggeration. It is not exaggeration. Then, then poor Pakshi will ask, then why they are not getting these two cases results? Then we are giving the reply that what? Because of 
ಪಾಠ ತತ್ರ ನಾಮಾರ್ಥವಾದ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾನಾದರಾಧಯ ದುರಂತ ಅಪರಾಧ ಏವ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧ ಕಾರಣ ದಿ ಕಾಸಸ್ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ one how many answer 10 offenses holy name example is tadarthavada first one is so vaishnavaninda that means blaspheming the devotees and like this these these offenses are there the person who was discussed in the shastra are there the person in the present day to lead life this person is not getting because he is having the offenses that's why even he does that bhakti and rains he is not getting but bhakti is there is no fault but that result is stopped by offense which okay no offense but he, she is not getting past past offenses are there ಅನ್ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ಲಿ <laughs> 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 he got benefit but we are listening this story and the chance of committing offense is only for devotees side <laughs> Ch- chanting offense is only case of devotees chance of committing offense yeah, chance no no anyone can actually ah glories we are only acha acha you are saying that most of the glories we only hear and and uh, you heard the many glories but you don't here the the signs of the committing offenses then you will do more offenses that's why offenses are kept in our morning program every day day to day program why because so it is that is such a crucial thing actually that's very crucial and that is very much remember rem- even we know ten offenses are there but in this moment in this x moment we will forget we will forget that and we immediately commit the so our chetana always is not fully uh, conscious sorry we are not fully con- not, we are not fully conscious of the committing offenses at the every moment we will forget and we'll do so many offenses every day so hundreds of offenses we do we are doing the 16 rounds of chanting and committing <laughs> hundreds of offenses <laughs> then it is <laughs> yeah it is yeah bhagwan pandit hare yes hare krishna prabhu yes prabhu i have to give result but can we get prove your so here the example your voice yes. is breaking you are getting hare Yes. Hare Krishna. Ah, yes, bro. Hare, Hare Krishna. Yeah, now is okay. So you say that uh, we get result uh, ah. by bhakti. What we can get in other processes like you give the example of a rain. Yeah. But here we are not getting because of offenses. Yes. But in yagya, even offenses we get. So then that is better. Means in getting result, other processes is better than bhakti. because here there is obstacle offenses but they are getting result then bhakti comes down then other processes in the form of getting result then how can we say that yeah, yeah your point i understood prabhu so in the, if you compare in producing results bhakti and other process you want to compare bhakti and other process in production of the result result and without offenses so bhakti is done then only it is going to give result 
but uh, in the other process they are not dependent on the your previous offenses simply if you follow the strictly that process then immediately it will give the result right yes yes like that's a lord says for example worshiping the demigods will give quick result ha ah, yeah nan sir na that is fact so that is better in getting result than bhakti yeah yeah that is true actually that is lord himself is accepting so if if you yeah if you worship the uh, demigods you will get quick result middle results yeah. but what point is so you will not get any uh, knowledge actually but in the case of the bhakti so if it is having the so this kind of offense so some offenses then it will not produce the so that result then then what will happen for that bhakti whatever you are doing that bhakti is consumed in 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 destroying the offenses yeah. it's good na bro yeah. <laughs> we are yeah, yeah. strong japa for getting the middle result but since offense is there so that uh, uh, that japa is not giving the result middle result <laughs> it is doing the good thing it is destroying the offenses <laughs> like if you have a so wet fuel a firewood wet firewood you its wetness is there and now if you expose this to with a fire fire what it will do it will burn the wood or the first it will destroy the it will it will dry up the wetness dry 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 up the wetness okay yeah. then yeah. yeah so yeah, that, nice. what is happening subhada subhada so clear me so when you start doing the bhakti so since you have anardhas in the sadhana bhakti also in the sadhaka so subhada that means some good auspiciousness the auspiciousness is manifesting good results are manifesting klesha agni means bad things are going but those are going gradually so after some time you will be seeing na three process three bhakti sar de what is that this is sadhana bhakti bhava and prema in in three cases you will be having the subhada that means subhada means giving the auspicious result auspicious result subhada okay yes sir uh, here subhada and here subhada is increasing increases in the sadhana bhakti bhava bhakti and prema but it is there so what we should understand here ah uh, we are seeing in some cases they, even they worship and they expected the result of something but that is not produced that in that case we should consider there are offenses like the so tadarthavada Or otherwise, Vaishnava Anadhara. That means disrespecting the Vaishnavas. Or so, continuing the holy name as exaggeration. Yes, Ram Chandra, please. Hari Krishna, Prabhu. Ah, uh, Krishna, Prabhu. Ah, uh, I don't remember where I read it, but one one place I read the Shri Guru was say that if if we are keep making offenses and keep chanting, ah, uh, we may we we will not make progress in bhakti, but we'll definitely get the material results. Yeah. we will we, we will we will get material opulence yes yes like you do in the when we are in the bhajana kriya it is also prabhu differently so tarangarangani is one of the uh, outcome of the bhajana bhajana that means ado shraddha sadhu sangha bhajana kriya so you will be on the tides sometimes you will be getting the materially highest position and going down those are all coming yeah so i am saying bhakti if you do offenseless offensive bhakti so it is it is destroying the klesha agni what i want to say so when do you do bhakti it is destroying the the offenses and also it is giving the some kind of subhada that means auspiciousness some good results understanding prabhu yes prabhu it's not that the if you do if you have offenses and you are doing the bhakti 
so i am not saying that completely total chanting is not going to only destroy destroy the offenses but it is also giving the some good results also like when you expose wood firewood to uh, firewood to a fire so it is in this area it is so destroying the that means it is drying up the wetness and also it is burning also but there is still wetness that is the thing actually if it is completely fully wetness ekdam that means just you dip dip into the water and you put in the put on the stove then it is less effect actually this fire is having less effect on it but it is having very minute light wetness then immediately fire is catch and that whatever internal wetness it will go like that same yeah is okay prabhu yes prabhu thank you hari krishna puji yes prabhu puji uh, uh, actually uh, i understood that part that uh, it is the bhakti is destroying the of past offenses but uh, right now also because if the desire is not i am not doing pure devotion service in that case so i am creating more offenses No, no, because no. I am thinking about getting some other result other than pleasing the Lord, so it will create more problems in future. Ah, acha, you are asking like that. That means anya vilashta sunyam is not happening. You are saying that? Yes, uh, actually, it's not. Again, uh, it says offensive chanting only. Ah. So my chanting is destroying my past offenses, and I am creating my new offenses. Ah, that is going on actually. So since we are now. uh ha, not uh, able to uh keep the consciousness so steady in in not committing offenses and you are chanting so definitely so you are earning 5 rupees and you are consuming some another 10 rupees so it will be there balance will be there it's all the well like that in that case <laughs> is going on you cannot that's why if you do inattentive chanting and not hearing and you hear like that then so then we are doing the offense also we are doing that means krishna's holy name we are taking on the tongue and not hearing that and you are investing your consciousness in just on the worldly things and somewhere so obviously it is uh, it is going to yeah give the some not so such effective progress but slowly 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 it will go it goes slowly as much as you get the strong association of the devotees and reduce the understand the science of the bhakti and try to become conscious of not committing the offenses and becoming the alert in every case every moment and that you will be seeing the some senior devotees who are consciously is behaving every moment every word they so they uh, consciously speak without committing any offenses even their actions everything they strictly follow so by getting their association you will become alert and then you will be so trying to improve the chanting and uh, stop the committing offenses and steadily doing like that and back whatever the balance offenses are they reducing and then it will progress it is it's a it's a big thing actually yeah takes it's a good time good amount of time if they don't have much offenses if they don't have then some people click chur, immediately hey, progress they don't have any offenses finished with very less effort they approach if you have zero offenses one holy name is enough all all the material sins are destroyed in one holy name finish everything is gone we don't have any more. like that <coughs> okay we'll go to the next uh, okay uh, yes madhavi just a comment prabhu ji yes, chanting with offenses is better than not chanting at all ah that is of course because not chanting will create even more problem because it is only creating negative balance but definitely will be doing offenses by by blaspheming the vedic literature you see 10 offenses if you scrutinizing analyze very good chance is there even for the non devotees also to commit this 
so everyone you will see you will anyway read, uh, study those offenses also then you will understand so this very easily blasphemy oh vedic literature is a mythology it's a simply mythology it's a myth gun he is committing offense blaspheming the vedic literature and uh, yeah blaspheming the devotee hey, this vira hari krishna they, they come to sell the books the book sales man and something ay vaishno is the cheater eto paisa mangne ke liye aaya hai just for begging money he came wearing tilak and he is so much strong so having good body and healthy body and begging here can't he work hard and then finish <laughs> because in my house they say like this. my parents <laughs> so of course i don't know what should so krishna should save them but they you have all hands and legs and just you are very much interested in eating freely in the temples and you don't have any hard working nature they used to scold every day <laughs> not now okay but also we see uh, is and the zita call says in newspaper how so much uh, offensive so much like that criticism is there but how many words are in krishna hmm, that is bhakti sadhu chakur used to uh, appreciate whether uh, so but so much glory is there but no word krishna hmm. so even though somebody is hearing word is saying krishna is like somebody criticizing vaishno but just a hey, hari krishna wale aa gaye hmm. kuch karte nahi hai oh, what ever they said but they chanted hari krishna wale So that also going to be credit for them. Yeah, yeah, and definitely, definitely. This also there. Yes. yes. That's why in media, if you keep instead of Facebook, WhatsApp, you should drama Krishna like that. Then you could have even whole world is no <laughs> could have been delivered till. <laughs> instead of Corona, if the name is given that something Krishna's whole is name <laughs> related to that, <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> people everyone chanted millions hundreds and thousands of times newspapers people whole world actually so that name should have given something uh, as pro why how do yeah class is um, yes pro so regarding subala yeah which uh, result are really obstructed by offenses the bhukti or some mukti mukti is one and bhukti is material enjoyment mm. and then you have the eternal happiness the trick type of happiness so i was wondering why material happiness will be obstructed because it's not really auspicious although it's is within considered within subada but i think i thought that that was available even if you commit offenses still you can get the material results you won't get a mukti and um, you may not get uh, the highest happiness but um uh, because we have the chatur vida bhajante man if if you approach krishna for material desire he will fulfill that yes so, yes. so even, even if you are committing offenses like considering the holy name as a, in the level of karma kanda because that the mentality they have akama sarva kama va Moksha. they have that karma kanda mentality so can you con- confirm if co- so if by committing offenses still you get the the bhukti yes yes, yes. so the the other result that are obstructed yes so that's why i said even bhakti is there and offenses are there so subhadra and klesha agni both it's not that the bhakti whatever we were doing it should not go entirely to only to the klesha agni no even it is going to give the subhadra also so the means so auspicious results means even results of karma gnana whatever whatever we desire those, those are all the auspicious results so called auspicious results yeah uh, that that is the point actually uh, uh when uh, i understood probably your uh, main core uh, question why someone is having the offenses and doing the bhakti so then this bhakti is is going entirely to only destroy these offenses or can it give the some results 
that that is the question yeah. yes the question is that there will be always a result from chanting some result is there but yeah, yeah, yeah. the point is that the result will be material enjoyment only because uh, it is the lowest that you can lower stage, it's from, from bhakti uh, it's in the lower stage it is material uh, results and uh, so even if you uh, expect the even the moksha also so it will also come actually moksha is also one of the uh, moksha lagata krit that can happen in the bhav bhakti so that means it is that means in the in the stage of bhav bhakti moksha is becoming the insignificant means you are started getting the more pleasure in that so that means uh, moksha is becoming insignificant you are getting more than the pleasure which is moksha that is happening in where in the bhava before that you can understand that you are not getting the even the pleasure which is equal to the moksha that is in the sadhana bhakti that we can that's uh, your analysis in terms of uh, sadhana the, bhava the level, sadhana bhava and prema Prem, yes i'm saying specifically in abasa in nama basa offenses when you are still are, are committing offenses but you are trying to yeah, yeah. and then there is also the, the stage of, of complete offenses in which you are not aware yeah that's it, the very beginning yeah yeah, Before yeah, yeah. Basa, offensive stage can you get uh, during offensive stage are you getting uh, still the the subada uh, only you are getting the but in here or? here actually yes prabhu nama bhasa is 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 here how we are seeing sri jogosam is defining so nama bhasa means what here ar bhaktiya bhasa ar nama bhasa bhaktiya bhasa means it is considering the nama bhasa also in, into that so without any bhagavad gnanam if you do bhakti somehow or other accidentally it is happening then that is known as abhasa like example those drunkards they are sweeping the floor of the temple so for the sake of playing the cards so that's a sweeping activity sweeping the floor sweeping the floor of the temple is happening then that is habasa that is a sense we see here actually so it's not the, described as a nama parada stage and after that nama bhasa it's not uh, is seen in the in this entire book we don't have that kind of uh, terminology actually yeah, yeah. that's the bhakti no thakur yeah it's another revolutionary books those has to be even more scrutinizedly uh, that means comparative study should be done actually there are many terms where it fit into this that has to be is is much yeah or later acharyas so they use the terminology in what sense that has to be understood that is i'm not clearly recalling that i read the ram uh, so harinam chintamani long back but it's not clearly in nama bhas also different types he explains there there different kinds of the nama bhas and those how they are going to fit here even he gave the even more more options he opened actually in that harinam chintamani book so that is yeah we have the primary acharyas like rupa goswami jeeva goswami and so ragunath ragunath das goswami and sanatan goswami this after that vishnu chakra thakur baldev ji bhushan then after that our our he supreme heroes this our main acharyas bhakti vinod thakur and bhakti siddhant thakur thakur goswami maharaj so they brought up even bhakti vinod thakur especially brought up the uh, so many ideas actually in the jaiva dharma in the bhakti aloka in harinama chintamani and many many things actually so those uh, has to be uh, reconciled with the the core books like sandarbhas and also after later that's uh, madhuri kadambini and those it's yeah it should be yeah i'm not in that stage now okay <coughs> yeah all explanation just there right on the top in the right corner you explain that bhakti we assume uh can give the results of all other sadhanas huh. what reference would you use for that uh yat karma vir yat tapasa tat sadhyam 
some anyone find this 10th can 11th can take yet karma bir yet tapasa mm-hmm. 11th can to sloka number but I, uh, yeah i was just thinking when when we give this reference when we give this statement that bhakti can give the results of other sadness we still need to draw the the the, um, the distinction between you know the pradana guni um, bhuta bhakti and uh, the goni um, bhuta bhakti uh, because because otherwise uh, you know the offense the offense would matter if if bhakti is the pradana if is the is yeah, the main this is uh, in this log atkarma bir yat tapasa so this uh pradana bhuta bhakti only bhakti is main we are doing and we are not at all doing any karma mm-hmm. any sadhana we are not following just uh, stand alone bhakti we are doing and uh, desiring the results of mm-hmm. some sadhanas because if it will be go- uh, gauni um, gauni bhakti yeah gauni uh, bhakti then then the offenses would not matter so much isn't it uh, in the gauni bhakti yes yes your question good so example is karma you are doing so in the process of karma there is a one anga or one point that means dravya suddhi for that you will be chanting the shri vishnu shri vishnu shri vishnu holy name so then this karma which is having the bhakti as a component then in that case so this known as this tot but pradhana is what karma that means here gaun the bhakti is gauna that's why then it is known as gauni bhakti this is gauni bhakti so Uh, or otherwise it is so then in that case this person karmi is thinking this karma is is just a a, a supporter for the this process is part of this process is a ritualistic activity eighth offense is committing but still so bhakti maharani is giving the result that eighth offense is happening result is coming so after that karma but here in the case he is not doing any yajna he is replacing total yajna with the only bhakti and he is desiring okay <clears throat> next atha eva uktam shri shonake okay i will take 15 minutes extra sorry because a lot of syllabus is in pending atay uktam tatra namardhavad kalpana okay this is all atay uktam sri sonakena tadasmasaram hrudayam batedam ಯಗೃಹ್ಯಮೇ ಹರಿನಾಮೇಯ ನ ವಿಕ್ರಿಯೇತಾಥಯಥಾಕಾರೋ ನೇತ್ರೇ ಜಲ ಗಾತ್ರರುಹೇಶು ಹರ್ಷ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ರೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಸೌನಕ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಸೌನ ಕೃಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಎ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ previously also we have seen this is a second time is coming in this bhakti sandarbha this shloka second time became very hot I'll just read out the translation of this shloka. <clears throat> the heart is like, the, the heart is hard like stone. If on hearing the names of the Lord, it doesn't transform. The heart is hard like stone. If on hearing the names of the Lord, it doesn't transform. When there is transformation then there are tears in the eyes and hairs of the body stand on and 
ये क्या है तदस्म सारम हृदय बत इदम ये तदस्मसारम हृदय भत इदम यद गृह्य मणे हरिनाम नाम धेय न विक्रियत यदा विकारो नेत्रे द हार्ट इज हार्ट लाइक स्टोन इफ ऑन हियरिंग द नेम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड it doesn't transform the heart is hard like stone tad asma saram hrudayam yad grihyamane harinama deyehi bata na vikriyeta if it is not going to get transformed on hearing the holy names of the lord then that is that is like hard stone सो नेक्स्ट यदा विकार नेत्रे जल गात्र हृहेश हर्ष बट इफ देर इज ए ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन देन देर विल बी टीयर्स इन द आईस एंड हेयर ऑन बॉडी स्टैंड ऑन एंड दट इज अथिंग दट इज मीनिंग so we are giving the example actually because why his heart is not uh, is actually by hearing the holy names immediately heart should be get transformed actually and your hair should be standing on the end and there should be tears in the eyes it's not happening that is the effect of the bhakti that's the glory of the bhakti by doing the bhakti immediately you should start crying why is not crying why we are not crying because in the heart there are so many offenses are so so tadashma saram hrudayam vadeyade yad grihyamanehi hari nama dheye uh, on this verse Huh. so uh, it is be difficult to understand so can you please explain in bbt yeah can it is explain. difficult in this translation is clear i don't have translation here so yeah acha little bit different can you see first check whether how तदस्मसारम हृदय भत इदम यदृह्यमे हरिनाम देहि तद दट ईज अश्मसारम दट ईज ए स्टोन दट तत् हृदय दट हार्ट ईज हार्ट स्टोन यद दवनूच गृह्यमे हरिनाम धेय इन स्पेट ऑफ चांडिंग होली सो सो न विक्रियता आम टेकिंग दि होली ने न विक्रियता तद अश्मसारम that heart is stone so if if you take take the holy names na vikriyata if it doesn't change yeah yada vikaro if if there is a transformation then what will happen there should be tears this is the thing actually is is general science उंड 
Huh. First thing understanding is that when chant the holy name, huh. the tears should come. Heart, heart melts. Heart melt means result should be tears should come yeah. and ecstasy should come. Yeah. Hair should end erected. Yeah. But here is a tears also coming. Tears also erecting, but still heart is not changed. Uh, heart is not changed. Simultaneously, there is uh, there is there is tears, but there is no change of the heart. And in the other uh, the other translation is that because there is no tears, that means that there is no change on the heart. So pra, pra, with the translation, uh, is a proper explain in the purple. Uh, everybody he explains the purple. Yes. In a, in a, he quotes Vishwanath about Kitako. Yeah, uh, that, that's the same. If you are. Uh, yeah. explanation that even if they can cry, yeah. but there is no chain of habits. They yeah. still are addicted to women, etc. Yeah. Uh, they are crying and, and when they're uh, while chanting. One second. I, anyway, we should, I will try to justify the BBT translationals. <laughs> What is the slogan number? Two, three, twenty-four. Mm, because it will definitely match somewhere with the samachari or, or otherwise something intention might be there in there. Samachari is saying, and that's why it is written. Maybe sometimes in the translation, little bit is missing, but it will be there in the purport actually. If we, if we study everything, then it will be clear. It's definitely it will be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that that happens. That's because translations are bhavartha. They are not the the word to word precisely written. It's not A B C D translation. Prabhupada says my translations are not A B C D translations. <laughs> that means it is the devotional purport section. So that's why. So it is not like simply little translation. But I do A B C D translation. That means take the word and meaning, take the word meaning, and only writing the. And to that much only. So we don't add actually anything extra. And Prabhupada, so from the commentaries, he takes so many inputs and he writes in the translation so that it will become very so easy understandable. So that is there actually. That feature is maintained in the Prabhupada books. So because that's it, but you have to search where whose thought he took. Sridhar Swami, Jiva Goswami, Vishwana Chakutakur, Viragavacharya, or sometimes Subodini, that's uh, so, or what is that? Vallabhachari, or somewhere he might have taken. And you need to search and figure it out. Listen, no? yeah. we are not able to understand yeah, this yeah. Uh, because we are together in today evening only yeah. discussing all this uh, translation. Achai, the achai, sense achai. was not coming. How these things are? Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Only that is uh, the point is so, uh, heart is heart stone. When you can you say heart is heart stone? If even if you take the holy names, if it is not getting changed, uh, transformed, actually, you can say it is hard hearted stone. And when it is transformed, what will happen? There is a tears. Huh? Uh. Well, transformed, uh. tear come. Yes, sir. But here is mentioned tear is coming, uh. Uh, ecstasy is taking place, heart is not changing, heart is not changing. Mm. <coughs> Twenty-four. Ka ah, it's explained. So then we'll go further. My God, we should not talk about give big purport actually for this. I don't have time this much. Big purple rovers. Hmm? Take a problem. Huh? 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 Uh, purple. Huh? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Purple will read anyway one time, okay? The 
the whole process can be summarized as follows the advanced devotee who chants the holy name of the lord in a perfectly offenseless manner and is friendly to everyone can actually relish the transcendental taste of glory of the lord and the result of such a realization is reflected in the cessation of all material desires and so the therefore the show it's a big purple bro i have to uh, and only na uh. ಅಚ್ಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾಚಾ
இதம் ஹிரதயம் அஸ்மசாரம் எது கிருஹியமானே ஹரிநாமாதேஹி ந விக்ரியதி அத எதா விகார நேத்ரே ஜலம் காதருஹேஷு அர்ஷஹ this is okay i will mm, time is going yatha prayena aadhunikanam yatha va i will try to comment on that tomorrow so some reconciling should be done there in studying the complete vishnu chakra thakur commentary and so matching with the shloka then why propad road there so something should be justified there so brahm Sim- seems like the imitation symptoms uh it's imitation but, symptoms he is taking but it. they would not be considered as ecstasy because they are yeah. imitation yeah. and they if they imitate uh, that is a, that heart is uh, i can say like that also it's good uh, it's like a is a steel hearted that means now you take the uh, imitators so they don't have any really uh, bhakti or their heart is not transformed and their heart is like hard hold, hard stone only it's like a steel st- uh, it's a hard stone so steel frame and even they take the chanting of the holy name doesn't change so in that case even they take the so holy names then holy name of the lord with concentration doesn't change with ecstasy doesn't change when ecstasy takes place i can i can reconcile like this this and now i am applying this what huh? so you see here certainly that heart is steel frame so that heart is steel frame this is the first sentence heart is steel frame like who is this example now sonaka is telling about the so false devotee okay false devotee's heart is steel frame okay now even that means what is next in spite of chanting the holy name even he chants holy name he is imitator actually he is externally so that means even he chant the holy name now he is he take a steel framed heart even if he chants holy name so with concentration that means as everything is imitation only okay so concentration of imitation uh, so it is concentration doesn't change then what doesn't change the heart this will not doesn't change heart and ecstasy when ecstasy uh, so he is what is a false devotee na he is when ecstasy is showing the ecstasy outwardly he is showing the ecstasy yeah yeah he is false he is 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 a false devotee he is a show of this it is a show of devotee's case ha huh? <laughs> uh, false devotees what they do they cry and they they show that they are doing the concentrated japa but their heart is still framed this point is said i can't to vishnu chakra thakur commentary it this is written actually trust this uh. if heart is melting then tears should come yeah uh. Uh. mike 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 <laughs> so it is said na when heart should melt heart uh. is melting then tears should come uh. but here is that heart is still framed while chanting with concentration holy name uh. Uh, when ecstasy takes place when ecstasy takes place uh. that means uh, tears is coming uh, 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 that is uh, ecstasy is also coming uh. and the heart is still uh, not changing yes so the question may ask one may uh, okay heart uh, is not how how do you know heart is not, not changing what is symptom of heart is not changing mm, so because, because heart uh, is changing it is a tears should come ecstasy should takes place ecstasy takes place that is a first symptoms told 
yeah, yeah. his heart is changing because tears is coming and uh, uh, her, her, her son and they are standing hmm. so the, uh, you consider total shloka is telling about the false devotee then uh, it is easy to justify because you see so propal what he does uh, whenever the that means multiple explanations will be given on the same shloka by the so vishnu chapter the big commentary wrote multiple explanations he gave so because now prominently in the society we have seen this that's a so it is it is written there like this so false devotees it is telling about the false devotees so they are crying they are weeping and also their hair is standing on and they are fully concentrated doing but still their heart is heart stone that message is 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 desired actually to convey here actually that is the, that is the vivaksha actually and the, uh, one place also we discuss i think bhakti sandarbha or uh. tat sandarbha uh. even though uh, heart is uh, melted uh. There, but uh, it may not tears may not appear and the hair sun and may not stand still heart heart may be melted like that one one may have melted heart they may not so like that what is that shloka based on this uh, this is local only we had discussion we, we had discussion uh, in bhakti sandarbha somewhere else i don't know but in class only okay, because these pure duties are there they are not uh, showing symptoms external symptoms like a tears a uh, hair sign ending but we say we don't say they are not pure duty mm -hmm. they have heart hmm? huh? they don't say, but this is tears and these are not only criteria which is going to mm -hmm. uh, say heart is melted or not melted because heart melted may be there some mm -hmm. duty possessing but they may not may showing symptoms like that sometimes it may appear it may not appear so this is not only litmus paper test ki, okay heart uh, tears is coming that means his heart is melted because pseudo duty may also show like that so, i think this not comment check for this thakur's commentary somewhere so because we want to justify this verse i think so it was discussion no? because mm -hmm. So in the previously we have seen this, the heart which doesn't transform is hard like stone. The cases of changes are as follows. When there is no transformation, then there will be not be tears in the eyes. So Parikshit will inform, will confirm this later by Anvaya. So the heart which doesn't transform is hard like stone. So the cases of changes are as follows when there is no transformation then there will be uh, there will not be tears in the eyes so you should come up with the that exact location where we studied this and uh, you should show that that's one thing so then we can discuss that and uh, this visna chakra thakur whatever uh, so Prabhupada write in the bbt so uh, purpose that is based upon the visna chakra thakur and uh, that that uh, explanation you should take for the case of the sahajiyas so he wrote that that is clear in that part and now you are saying that heart is transformed and so there are no changes in what context is said and what is that and who is that devotee so like in the case of the pure devotees yes so krishna it doesn't mean that the so they are stopping externally but it's not that the internally they don't have any uh, these symptoms they are having the symptoms actually so here that is the point actually we explained in the bhakti sandarbha previously this example to say that so when there is a transformation of the heart so what are the uh, changes that means what are the different external symptoms we can see this and sometimes external symptoms can be controlled it doesn't mean that they they are not coming so you're understanding so what sense you are saying so you please bring that then we can see this <coughs> Yeah, so, controlling is different, and uh, that the signs of the bhakti you cannot defeat there. That means uh, when a heart is transformed and these symptoms are coming, so that can be controlled by the devotees because they don't want to uh, show that means create this such a disturbance in the society. Then people will be become more sahajiyas by the just by externally those 
they will be artificial then they start showing that and trying to get the same recognition so to stop that then it can be done so that's the point actually okay mm. here anyway then time is already 8:24 so we'll try to stick tomorrow onwards the uh, archana bhakti mata ji what comment you have prabhu ji are uh, not only i was thinking not only those who are false devotees and who are imitators mm -hmm. but even sometimes those who are coming from material background when they come in the association of devotees temporarily they experience some ecstasy and again they go home and they go back to their own life and they forget about all this but when they are in the association of devotees temporarily they may experience some symptoms i was thinking about that from you yeah kada chit ki bhakti i told na recently yes <laughs> yeah kada chit ki that means for the moment their mind is absorbed and then after that it is once again is going back actually so that is not that is that is there given in the visna chakra tagur commentary is one of the one of example then we can see that also but he gave the big commentary actually maybe it's alternative meaning maybe actually but in our case how we are using this yes, just one second ha huh? so how why we are discussing this tadashma saram do you know first of all why we are discussing this shloka here all of sudden anyone what is the the obstacles created by thinking that uh, when you think that the results of bhakti are just uh, you know exaggeration when you commit that type of offense then uh, what is it that you are going to suffer so your heart will become steel framed as a result of that is that what we are discussing no 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 actually here the thing what is the glory first of all in the context you should see the what is the glory of the bhakti what is the glory of the bhakti when you do the chanting your heart should be transformed and there should be tears okay that should happen in the normal so that is the glory of the bhakti so when you do bhakti immediately what should happen so uh, sir, so water should flow from the ears from the eyes so this should happen but this is not happening ashma saran it is not happening and heart is like a hard stone steel frame it means what there is offenses that is the point we want to discuss that's why to show that so visuna sorry siljiv gosam is writing here okay shri prabhupad ki jai